Okay, so I believe this is recording, so I'm hoping to be able to have also the recording that's gonna be made available to everybody too. Um, you know, the reason that I'm, that I'm doing this call today is really for a couple different reasons. And the first reason is, um, again, Sherlock has been going through a, a transition period here, and I, I thought, uh, um, and I haven't been as communicative as I, I basically should be with regards to the transition that's been happening. Um, and because of the things that are going on with Sherlock, and because I haven't been as communicative, um, there are different rumors and so forth going around and, and um, you know, and there's always gonna be that in this industry, unfortunately. And, you know, I've, you know, I, I've tried to stay above these rumors and so forth the best that I can. Um, you know, our industry, you know, we, it takes a hit as is. Um, and you've got to understand that people basically have different agendas. They have their own agendas. And some of them, in order to be able to further those agendas, will do and say things that basically they think that they need to say in order to be able to further their agendas. And I've kind of been watching a little bit of that, you know, and you guys and I appreciate it have been sharing with me. Um, I just didn't, I, I wanted to stay above the fray. I, I didn't want to get back, get down and, and be able to, you know, get down to, to, to some of the, the, the level with regards to, you know, having to defend or, um, or do the, the tit for tat kind of thing. Um, but, you know, with that, with, with me not communicating as much, um, I've also, you know, it's led those, it, it's let those kind of rumors also happen. And, uh, and I apologize for that because I know it's hurt some of your guys' business as well. Um, and so I, I apologize that, you know, my um, not being as communicative or during this time period um, has caused you guys issues with regards to in the field and being able to build your Sherlock businesses. Um, and so let me, let me kind of, so I just wanted to start off by saying that, um, but I won't go down to that level. Um, you guys, you know, my Skype number, I'm available by, by Skype. If, anybody, if, if anybody's got questions or so forth, I'm, I'm available by Skype. Just reach out to me. I, I don't mind having those one-on-one -on -one conversations and basically be able to, you know, explain a little bit about what's happened with Sherlock or maybe some other people and so forth. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm, I, I literally am open to anybody communicating with me um, and, and asking me very detailed <clears throat> questions. I'm, I'm willing, I'll be transparent basically with everything. Um, I've got, there's no hidden agenda here. Um, you know, I'll be transparent about everything. And, and as we're talking about being transparent, let me just basically start by saying, you know, the last six months really with Sherlock um, have been a rough time. Um, and what's happened is, is, you know, Sherlock coming in in 2012, in May 2012, we pretty much doubled every year um, through 2015. And then 2016, um, you know, we, we introduced basically the new app and, uh, and that caused some issues with regards to the product. And then uh, we ended up, you know, with that losing some people and, um, you know, and that caused some additional issues. And then they went in their own, you know, directions and uh, started to, you know, try and, and you know, and, and go and recruit other, you know, uh, Sherlock people. And, you know, 2016 was a rough year for us. Um, and, you know, in, in looking at that, and, and I'll be honest, I mean, the company, you know, has been losing money um, over the last several months. Um, but, but I, with that being said, you know, we had some great years and all companies go through this. Um, all companies go through these situations. Uh, you can't continue to have, you know, that kind of growth without hitting obstacles and hurdles and so forth. Um, we're at a point right now where, you know, I am uh, um, looking to be in a situation where, you know, we're raising some additional capital for the company. Um, I've been looking at raising additional capital for the company for a good six to seven months now. So we're raising some additional capital for the company. Um, and I believe we're going to be able to get it done. Um, we've got probably three to four really good, solid uh, prospects right now. We're down the road with them for a little while. 
our, our little ways. And, um, you know, I think that we're going to be able to get it done. And with that additional capital, um, you're going to see some additional resources go to be able to build the company. We're, we're looking at some additional expansion opportunities also with the company. So um, I just want to assure you guys that, you know, Sherlock is in no jeopardy of going away. Um, you know, I am com as committed to Sherlock as I've ever been with regards to fulfilling the, the potential of Sherlock. Um, I know that, you know, maybe some people out here that, um, you know, that, that have not, that came into Sherlock and maybe they had their idea on what it was that Sherlock could do and, and the fact that, you know, the, that we've got great technology, the compensation program is great, it makes sense. Um, and they look at what's happened over the last, you know, literally six to eight months and, uh, and they feel disappointed and let down. And, and you know, something, I, I understand that. We do have a great opportunity here. Um, and there's been mistakes that I've made along the way. Um, I'm not gonna deny that I basically have made mistakes along the way with Sherlock, but I'm still committed to Sherlock basically being able to reach its potential. And for that reason, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm actively looking for additional investment capital and we've been doing this for a little while now and I think that we're close. Um, people have been asking and, you know, some of the rumors have been that I sold out basically and did this with another company and sold to another company. That's absolutely not the truth. The truth is basically that, you know, we had, we've got a substantial database of people that are no longer are not active with the company. Um, and I know that for me personally, what I need to do is I need to get these people making money. Um, that's first and foremost what I need to do. And hopefully when they're making money, um, they'll be looking at continuing to use the app and maybe even with the situation in the alliance that was, um, that was talked about with Isagenics. You know, my goal is if I can get people making money and even if they use Isagenics to be able to brand their business or use the Sherlock to brand their Isagenics business and start using the app, that's one of the first things that we need to do is we need to build that customer base. And so that's what my hope is. My hope is basically that, you know, with the alliance, people can do it or they don't have to do it with the new alliance, but it will give them the opportunity to be able to make some money and then hopefully start to use the app again um, so that we can use that to be able to build up the usage income. And it's as simple as that. You know, people have said, you know, will I stay with the company if in fact we raise the money? Um, I, will, I will be part of the company. I, you know, down the road here, I might not be the CEO of the company, um, but everybody that has come to me so far with a serious offer with regards to the company, um, you know, it's included me being part of the company. Even if it's not the CEO, um, I'm the one that had the original vision as to the company. I'm the one that basically has developed the relationships and so forth. I will always be here to be able to help with regards to the company and being able to grow Sherlock. I don't know that it'll be in the CEO um, position, to be honest with you. And, you know, there, when you look at the opportunity with Sherlock around the world now, you know, it requires somebody to be able to go to Asia and to be able to go to India and go to the places that we are going to be expanding to and have opportunities. For me, I just turned 59 years old. You know, I am uh, those, those 13 hour plane flights and the 14 hour time differences and so forth, they wear on me. Um, and so, you know, we, we, we need some new blood with regards to the leadership, not only the leadership in the field, which as you know, we're looking for new blood, but also, you know, some leadership on the corporate side as well. Um, we need some new sales management. And, and I know that, and, and, you know, part of what we're looking to be able to do on the, uh, on the side of raising some capital is also get the people that will have the ability to be able to go out and travel and to be able to help you guys build your business. So um, Sherlock is not going anywhere. Uh, you know, we, we're still committed to being able to execute on the plan for Sherlock um, and let you guys realize, you know, what your, that your hard work and your dreams and so forth still have an opportunity to be able to come to fruition. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm very committed to that. 
Um, we did announce an alliance with the company. You know, I've been looking at potential alliances for a good six months. Um, I met with and talked to at least 15 different CEOs of network marketing companies. Um, we were in, you know, had been in talks with, you know, a number of them. Um, and, and the reason being is just to be perfectly honest with you is that, you know, again, we, we, we have a substantial database of people. Do you resurrect the dead basically? Or, you know, I didn't think we were going to be able to really necessarily do that with Sherlock. But I thought if we gave them, like I said, an opportunity to create an additional re revenue stream and they use the Sherlock app, um, then at least we would get them making money and the, at least they'd be using the Sherlock app and then giving it away, even if it was branding it for another company. And you know, with that, that's always been a strategy that we've looked at. We've always looked at Sherlock as an opportunity also for additional network marketing op op uh, companies to be able to brand their opportunity and give the Sherlock away and use it as a communication tool, use it as a branding tool. Um, I just didn't necessarily expect to also make another, you know, revenue stream available. Um, but, you know, with the partnership with, uh, or the alliance, excuse me, that we have with Isagenics, um, it just made sense to be able to do that. Um, and I will tell you, you know, you're going to have people out there that will look at and they will find whatever reason because they have their own agenda to be able to put down either your company, either our company or me or our alliance with the new company. But the reality is, is that, you know, on my part, I'm not going to get involved and, in, you know, I'm going to try and stay above the fray there. It's hard to be able to really say a lot of negative things about Isagenics. You know, they've been around for 14 years they did $924 million last year. They're an iconic company. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to say negative things about them, especially compared to, you know, some, a lot of the other things that are out and available in our industry right now. And the reason that I, that I did that and made that alliance was not only is this a, is this a solid company to be able to look at, their ownership is phenomenal. Their leadership is phenomenal. We positioned, you know, the company, our company was basically sponsored by their leading income earners. 90% of their business is in the United States and Canada. So they're just starting their international expansion. Um, and I really believe that it's something that will create a residual income for those that want it for the next, you know, generation, really, where there's a lot of companies out there right now that are basically shiny objects. Maybe they have a little bit of momentum, maybe they don't, but you don't know if they're gonna be around in four to five years. Um, I know that Isagenics is gonna be around for the next generation. And so that was the reason. It wasn't an easy decision to be able to do that alliance, um, but I thought it was basically the best move, you know, for, you know, the people that are needing to make money basically um, and maybe are having a little bit of a difficult time with Sherlock as we're going through this transition. But again, the one thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that, you know, number, I am still passionate about Sherlock. I am incredibly passionate about the opportunity with Sherlock. Um, I know we need some additional resources. I've been working on those additional resources. And I think they're close to fruition. Uh, or coming to fruition. I mean, to the point where I'm in, have had multiple conversations now with a number of parties have put together a business plan that not only has our, our you know, past history, basically, of financials and tax returns, but also has, you know, our projections for the future as well. Um, and I'm excited about some of the, you know, the opportunities that we have in different countries. I'm um, excited about, you know, some of the things that are going in, you know, I'm excited about some of the new leadership in the UK. We've got our first event in a while happening in the UK in April, and I'll get you that information out um, so that you have that. Um, I'm excited about some of the things that are going on with Sherlock Local as well in different parts of the world. I'm excited about some of the new leaders that are starting to emerge in India as well. Um, we do have a lot of positive things that are going on with Sherlock, um, but in the meantime, you know, behind the scenes, I've been basically working on, number one, looking at different alliances for us, and number two, um, procuring the financing to really put the resources and being able to uh, execute better for Sherlock. Um, we also, you know, just to let you know, I mean, we've got our development team on retainer. 
Um, so as the app continues to evolve and develop, they're there for us. They're an Indian development team. So they're excited about the opportunity in India. They're kind of chomping at the bit, waiting to go, you know, in India so that they can provide their expertise and, you know, and, and, and being able to customize that app um, and continue to evolve it for the Indian market as it continues to expand. Um, so, you know, we've got that in place and ready to go. And, um, you know, I, 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 like I said, it, it's just, uh, you know, just to kind of recap, we, we have been losing money. Um, I've continued to fund the operation. You guys have never, I've never missed a, a been late for a paycheck or a pay period. Every Friday we've been able to, you know, to, to, uh, um, make sure commissions have been, have been paid and they've been paid on time basically for four and a half years now. Um, and I don't mind, and, and the company isn't in jeopardy of going out of business. Um, I'm, you know, personally basically funding the company and, you know, I, I, I have the ability to be able to do that for as long as it takes to be able to, you know, find the right investor group and so forth to be able to help to take this to the next level. So we've had to cut back on some things. Um, we've had to cut back on, you know, some, uh, some people that, you know, we've had to cut back on. We've had to cut back on a few different things, as you guys maybe have noticed, but the company is still from an admin, from a technology standpoint, from a technical support, you know, all those things are still in place. Um, and we're still paying people, you know, on uh, the commissions that are, that are earned. So all those things are in place. Um, and I'm not, and I'm planning on keeping those all. So the company is not in jeopardy of going out of business. We hit a wall um, and we're looking for solutions to be able to get through this hurdle and get through this obstacle and get back into momentum. Um, and that's, that's really what we're looking to do. Um, and I will continue to keep you guys informed. Um, and again, rather than being in a situation just that I, that I have to go on social media and really defend stuff that's really just not true and garbage and for people's own agenda. If you guys guys have questions or issues, please don't hesitate to Skype me. It's mweeder at gmail.com. Just Skype me and I'm happy to be able to share with you guys, um, you know, everything that else that's going on, uh, you know, in detail and be perfectly transparent about it. But I don't want to go in and, and, you know, and, and get into, stuff on social media and so forth because that's not what the company needs and that's not what this industry really needs. Um, but again, I'm, I'm happy to be able to answer any questions that you have. So um, with that, also send me some questions if you've got questions and I'm happy to be able to answer them because what I'm going to be doing is sending out this recording for people. Um, and so I'll be, you know, I'll send out the recording, but also if you've got questions, just send me an email, Michael Sherlock Nation, with questions. And what I'll do is I'll answer those questions in the email that goes out to our entire database. And at the same time, I will include this recording as well. Um, which, so, so, and just to summarize, still passionate about Sherlock. Um, we've been working behind the scenes to be able to bring in some investment groups to be able to execute. Uh, you know, and, 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 and really fulfill the opportunity with Sherlock. I created the alliance after a lot of due diligence on a lot of companies out there, created the alliance because we've got a substantial database that's inactive. I want to try and get them making money and at least trying to get them using the app again. So that's the reason for it. Um, and, um, you know, again, it was with a lot of due diligence. I, I actually think the alliance is with a great company and, Happy to tell you a little bit more about that privately if you've got, uh, you know, if you want additional information about that too. Um, and I will be, you know, again, I've kind of been holding back on some of the um, communication um, and justice basically, you know, and just to let you know, so justice is no longer with the company. Um, as the business slowed down, like any businessman, I had to cut back on expenses. So I cut some people basically to part time. Justice was one of them. And then Justice basically decided to resign. So we don't have the corporate communication that we used to. And that's, you know, my problem. I needed to pick up the ball there. Um, and I haven't really picked up the ball. Um, and the reason is, is because I've been waiting for good news to be able to give you guys really good news and positive things. But again, because I haven't been communicating, all these other rumors started to float around that are 
<clears throat> absolutely untrue. Um, so you will hear me with better communication. And now that I've got a Zoom, corporate Zoom account too, I'll be doing more and more of these Zoom calls for you guys as well. Um, so that you have that communication and you can share these recordings with everybody basically that's out there. So send me your questions um, and I'm happy to include those and I also will include the recording on this as well. So um, I appreciate everybody's time and again, um, I, I, uh, and I, you know, the other thing is, uh, you know, it, it has been, I, I, I've always been, um, tried to help people. Um, you know, even as a startup company, we looked to be able to try and give back. Um, I, I, I've tried to help people all along the way. Um, it is a little hurtful when you see some of the things that you see on social media sometimes. You know, you've got to develop a thick skin out here. Um, you know, as the CEO of the company, you've got to develop a thick skin. This is a, it, it is a tough industry sometimes um, with people. Um, but I really want to sincerely, I, I know that there's a lot of you also that have put your hopes and dreams into Sherlock um, and have been very loyal and committed along the way. Um, even if you haven't really put a lot of effort into it, I know that there's still been the hopes and the dreams and the loyalty that's been, you know, with Sherlock and with me and being able to execute. Um, and for those of you that have been that way, um, I, I am truly, truly appreciative of that. Um, and like I said, I will continue to work diligently um, to make sure that your hopes and dreams and, ex and, and aspirations with what you want um, can be delivered um, with Sherlock. And so um, that's what I'm working diligently on as well. And um, I am confident that we're going to be able to make it happen. But I, I just wanted to give a sincere um, thank you and appreciation for those that, that continue to stick with us as we go through this period. Um, and as we go through, you know, the, the changes and the hurdles, some of the hurdles that we've gone through here. So with that, thank you very much for your time today. You will be seeing me do more Zoom calls here um, now that we've got this. And again, send your questions to michael at sherlocknation.com and I will include them with this recording that we'll be able to send out as well. So God bless and uh, thank you very much for your time.